Hi, my name is Mark Street and I work for Liberator Limited in the UK and Ireland. In this particular video, we're going to look at creating a new page for uh, NovaChat device. Now, you could be using an LR7, you could be using a NovaChat, or you could be using a Chat Fusion. Irrespective of which device you're using, this programming tip will work in exactly the same way for all of the devices that I've just mentioned. Now, in previous videos, if you haven't watched it already, we've already talked about customization and editing where we've taken a photograph or we've added a word to a page. But maybe this time we want to make a new page. So what I'm going to do is go into the menu. I'm going to select edit mode. And now I'm going to go into my pages mode. So I'm going to select pages. With pages, I can select new page, new page from template, import a page or delete a page. Or maybe you want to copy a page that you're working on already. Well, first of all, I'm gonna say new page from template. And what I'm, it asks me now is name that page. Let's just say, I'll call this page Mark Street. And this is gonna be a page about me. I'm gonna select save. It's saving the new page. And now there is my page. It's got a basic default template on there with some of the key buttons on there so I can continue to use that page and be familiar with some of those buttons that you'll find on the default home screen. If you don't want those on there, you can simply press and hold that button, say copy button, a blank button, and then you can press and hold a button that you want to remove and simply say paste button. And what that will do is copy that blank button over buttons that you want to replace. There we go, paste button. And I'll keep pasting that button and I can get rid of any buttons on that page. So you can continue to do that, but obviously there are buttons like the home button, the delete word button, the clear button, the groups button that are really useful buttons. So be careful what you're deleting. And then in order to customize that page, I simply do what we've done on other vocabulary sets or videos. We simply press and hold the button that we want to edit. We select edit button and we can simply type away the message that we want to put in here. I'm just gonna type Apple as an example. I'm gonna press the down arrow. There's my message in there. I'm gonna select find, search. I'm now gonna choose a picture. So I'll choose that top one there and I'm gonna select save. And there you go. That's added a word to my page. And now I can come out of edit mode and that page is saved. So remember, that page was called Mark Street. Now I might want to link that page somewhere. So what I need to do is go to where I wish to link that page from. I'm gonna go here to my groups and look at the top there, there is a button that's empty. Well, the easiest way to link a page in is I'm actually gonna copy the format of another linked button. So here, I'm just gonna select my geography page and I'm gonna use that one. Now I'm not in edit mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into edit mode. There you go. I'm gonna select geography or press and hold that button and say copy button. I'm gonna press and hold the blank button. And now I'm gonna say paste button. So let me just do that, catch them on the screen. So there I am copying the button. And now I'm going to paste it on that blank button, paste button. There you'll see it coming up, paste button. And what you'll see in a moment is that's actually copied the geography button to the top of my screen. Now I'm going to press on hold geography and say edit button. This is the geography one. I don't want that. I want it to be about Mark. So I'm going to type in in capital letters, because I know that anything with a capital letter means it's gonna to link to another page. So Mark Street. 
I'm going to take the message out. I don't want it to speak when it goes into this button. So I'm going to leave that blank. I'm then going to select the actions button. At the moment, it says cancel visit and navigate to the geography page. I don't want it to go to that geography page. So I'm actually going to remove that button out. I'm going to add an action. And the action I'm going to add is navigate. Now, this, you'll see here I've got navigate or jump page. Jump page means it'll go to that page for one button press and then go back to where it came from. Or navigate means it will go to that page and stay in there. I want it to stay in there. So I'm going to say navigate. It's going to say, OK, where do you wish to navigate to? Well, in this, ca in this case, there was lots of pages. So I'm going to scroll down through my page and I'm going to find my page called Mark Street. Where is it? There it is. Just coming up on the display now. Mark Street. I'm going to press it. And it says, is that your page? It shows me. Yep, that's the one. Press OK. Do I want any animation? No, I'm happy with that. I'm going to select Save. So it says, cancel any visits that have already occurred and navigate to the Mark Street page. Yep. Press save. Now, you'll see that the picture's not very good. So I'm actually going to go in and edit that button again. And I'm going to find a new picture. And I can search for Mark Street or put a picture in there of a man. There you go. Search. If I had, I could have taken a photograph. There you go. I'll just use this picture. There you go. Mark Street. Remember, I could go into the camera and take a picture. Press save and look at the format of that button now. It looks identical to the others. If I press that button, it links to my page. If I go and press groups, it goes back to the groups page. Or if I press home, it goes back to the home page. And now all I need to do is come out of edit mode. So that's how you create a new page and you link a new page. Now, just to quickly show you, if I do go into edit mode and I once again go into my pages, and I do in fact select the menu again and say new page, it's going to say, how many buttons do you want? Six by 10. I'm fine with that. Let me call this test and select save. What this is going to do is give you a completely blank page. Now, that's OK, but I haven't got a home button in there, and that can cause me a few problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back out of that page. So I'm going to come out of edit mode. I'm going to press the arrow back. I'm going to go into my groups. I'm going to go, let me have a look and find another button. Let me go into. Let me just edit this button. Let me remove this Mark Street one from here. We don't want to use that one. Let's imagine I'm going to take that out. So edit mode. I'll remove button from page. There you go. Yes, so that's removed. Let's take that one out. Let me now link in my other page that I just made, test. So I'm going to press and hold this button. I'm going to create a button. I'm going to say test. I'm going to take the message out. I don't want it to speak anything. And what I'm now going to do is press my action button here. And I don't want it to speak message, so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to add an action. And let's say cancel visit. Add an action. And this time, I'm going to go navigate. Where do I want to navigate to? Well, remember, I want to navigate to my test. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and find my test page. That should be coming up shortly. So there we have it. There's my test page. I'm going to press my test page. It says, that's it. It's blank. Is that the one? Yep, that's the one. 
press OK. Do I want any animation? No, I'm happy with that at this point. So set page, cancel, navigate, test animation, save that. Now, watch what I'm going to do here first. I'm going to press and hold the home button and say copy button. And then I'm going to go into my test page and I'm going to press and hold the blank button in the top left corner and paste button. So at least my page now has a home button on there and I can continue to edit. Let me go back to the home button. I'm going to press the groups button and I'm going to copy that button. I'm going to go into the groups, press my test and I'm going to paste the groups button there. So I'm now creating my page and I'm starting to copy buttons. Let me go back to the groups button. I'm actually going to go into my food page and I'm going to copy the word cookie. Let me say copy button again. And I'm going to go back into my groups. I'm going to go back into my test page and I'm just going to copy the formula. So paste button. Now I've copied cookie there because I like the style of the button, but actually I'm going to edit this. Let's just say this is my test page. I'm going to delete that text out. Let's just put the word red in there. Arrow down. Find a picture. Search. Let's find something to represent red. There you go. And select save. Now, I'm now going to copy this button. And I'm going to paste this button here. And I can continue to use that. In fact, I can edit that button and change that to yellow. I'm quite happy with the formula. I'm going to find a picture of yellow. Yellow, there you go, and save. So there you go, I can put lots of pictures in there. You might not like the fact that some of those blank buttons aren't like those blank buttons on other pages. So I can simply copy those buttons, go back to the home page, select my test page, and I'm just going to paste that blank button throughout my page. There you go. So I can continue to paste those blank buttons all the way through. So hopefully you've learned something about creating pages, editing and customization. I hope this video is useful. If we can be of any assistance whatsoever, contact us at Liberator on 01733 370470. My name is Mark Street. You can email me, mark at liberator.co.uk. Thanks for watching.